In this video, you are going to learn which are the best boost items you can get to make your game much easier. These items give the highest percentage of reputation, gold, experience, class points and do the highest bonus damage against different types of enemies. We will also learn how you can get them. We are going to start with reputation boost. The item that provides the highest one is the Air Sand Eternal. It gives you 50% bonus in reputation. To get this item, you have to complete the Air Sension quest in Join Museum. It requires you to have some of the strongest items in the game, for example, the original Dracot Armor, Armor of Faith, and some other items. You also get 10 million gold as a reward from this quest. Other items that also have 50% bonus reputation are the Air Sanded Omni Cow or the Air Sanded Omni Wings. The next one on the list is Experience. The item that gives you the highest experience boost is the Head of the Legion Beast with 30% more XP. To get this item, you have to join 7 circles worth and complete a short quest line. Then you have to kill enemies in the area to collect the items required and you need some Legion tokens to get the help. Next one we have class points and gold and we are going to combine them because the item with the highest boost for both of them is once again the air sanded armor and the items that you get from the same shop. For class points the boost is 50% and for gold it is 30%. Starting with the most important type of damage boost, damage to all enemies. In here the classical item is the necrotic sword of doom with 51%. To get the NCOD, you have to join Shadowfall and farm for it. There are a lot of guide videos on YouTube on how you can get it faster or easier, I suggest you watching them after this video. Chaos The highest Chaos damage boost providing item is the Chaoruptor lock. I have mentioned it in a previous video as well, it gives you 50% more damage against Chaos and Dracot monsters. It is useful in many phases of the game as Chaos is one of the most common enemy type and you will encounter them quite often. Against Dragons, the item that is going to help you out the best is the Hollowborn Dragon Slayer Blade. It gives you 60% bonus damage. You can get it by killing the Hollowborn Sentinels in Joint Shadow Realm and farm some bone dust from skeletons in Joint Battle on Dark B. You also have to have rank 8 reputation in Hollowborn to be able to buy it. Except this item, there are ones that do 75% like the Dragon Blade, but it costs ACs. Or if you are a member, you can buy it for 1 million gold. If you need an item to kill human enemies faster, you might find the head of the Legion Beast useful. I have also talked about it in a previous video, which I am going to link at the end of this one, so you can check it out. The item with the highest boost against undead enemies is probably one of the most popular items in the game. It is the Blinding Light of Destiny and different versions of it. You can get it by farming it in a similar way to the Necrotic Sword of Doom in Joint Necropolis. Again, there are a lot of guides on YouTube that can help you out with the details on how you can get it faster. The last enemy type on the list is the Elemental One. As with undead enemies, the best item for killing elementals also has 75% bonus damage and is the Infernal Flame Copish, which you can get in Join Fire Avatar by completing the regular quest here and the daily quest in Join Ultra Tindarius. Once you have collected all the items, you can go back to Galanot and get it from his shop. Let me know in the comments, do you have any of these items and was it worth farming them? I highly recommend you to subscribe so you don't miss out any future guide videos that can make your gaming life much easier. If this video was helpful, you can also leave a like so it can spread to more people. This video right here is similar to the one you have just watched and contains some useful information about more items. I am leaving you with it and I will see you in the next one.